Hello, my name is Martin Hutchings. I'm a senior consultant at the Department of Hematology and Phase 1 unit at Rieshospital in Copenhagen, Denmark. At the EHA 2021 meeting, I've had the privilege and pleasure on behalf of my co-authors to present the five-year update from the Echelon 1 study. Echelon 1 was a large randomized study uh, including more than 1,300 patients with newly diagnosed advanced stage Hodgkin lymphoma defined as stages 3 and 4 disease. Patients were randomized either to the standard ABVD, six cycles, or to an experimental arm where bleomycin was replaced by brintuximab vedotin, which we called A plus AVD. So the patients uh, um, uh, all uh, were treated, like I said, with six cycles, uh, followed by uh, response assessment after two cycles, and at, again after the completion of six cycles, both with PET CT. The primary endpoint was uh, modified progression free survival. Um, which was assessed uh, in the primary analysis after approximately two years of follow up at median, showing a benefit in favor of the experimental arm by approximately 5% statistically significant. So, since then, the uh, patients have been followed by the investigators for progression free survival and, of course, also for long term safety. And the update given at the EHA is indeed an update of the progression free survival and of, and of interesting late safety data. Looking first at efficacy, progression free survival shows, shows a sustained benefit in favor of the experimental arm. Now with a 7% PFS difference at five years, 82% um, progression free survival in the experimental arm and 75% in the standard arm. Looking at toxicity, it's been very interesting uh, to follow uh, uh, peripheral neuropathy. This um, side effect is uh, attributed uh, to brintuximab vedotin, and that is the reason why approximately two thirds of patients in the experimental arm experience peripheral neuropathy as opposed to 45% in the standard arm. So uh, the um, uh, good news is that with uh, extended follow up, patients in continue to uh, see complete resolution or uh, uh, improvement of their uh, peripheral neuropathy symptoms. So the amount of patients who had neuropathy at the end of treatment and who continue to live with some degree of neuropathy continues to drop. And among the patients who still have symptoms, the symptoms generally improve uh, with time. So a relatively small proportion of patients who had peripheral neuropathy still live uh, with it at this point in follow-up and very, very few patients with neuropathy of higher than grade two. Um, new data have, were presented in this abstract uh, regarding fertility and secondary malignancies. Looking first at secondary malignancies, 19 of those have so far been observed among patients treated in the experimental arm and 29 secondary malignancies among patients treated in the standard arm. So it's quite safe to say even in the absence of any stringent statistical analysis, that uh, no more second malignancies have been observed with the experimental arm. Now, it's long been known that ABVD does not affect fertility uh, um, among neither female nor male patients treated for Hodgkin lymphoma. In comparison with, uh, with the experimental arm AIM plus AVD, this is quite favorable uh, as well, um, since uh, Actually, there have been observed in actual numbers more uh, pregnancies and more live births among uh, female patients, uh, plus among uh, female partners of male patients uh, treated in the experimental arm as opposed to the standard arm. So actually more babies and more pregnancies uh, in patients who have completed treatment in the the experimental arm than in the standard arm. And since we know that ABVD, the standard arm, does not hamper uh, fertility in any meaningful degree, uh, it's also safe to say that the experimental arm, which is now a standard of care, does not affect fertility in these young patients who are treated. So all in all, a sustained um, uh, meaningful efficacy benefit, 7% uh, difference in progression-free survival at five years, and really quite a favorable uh, long-term safety profile in this updated analysis.